It was about four floating heads that had the same face as each of the girls, and a rope was tied to the heads ready to catch them. Two girls have their necks tied by ropes and are soon floating away into the sky. Kazuko and Chiharu are the only ones who manage to escape, the two friends go into an alley to try to lose the freaks. At that moment a local villager hears the cry for help and quickly decides to help them. He puts his crossbow in hand and fires an arrow at one of the creatures. The projectile hits Chiharu's floating head and the balloon begins to wither in a bizarre manner. Kazuko is relieved to see that it was only a large balloon filled with helium gas, but as she looks at her friend she realizes that her fate was similar to that of her floating head. Chiharu gets a hole in her own face and slowly her body dries up completely. Kazuko runs towards her house and realizes that the floating heads of her parents and brother are surrounding the place, she manages to get inside in time and meets all her family again. As the days passed, most of the townspeople were already floating in the sky hanging by ropes.